Hi everybody, it's Mr. Reister, and I'm going to do a little walkthrough of at least part of, you're looking at my email, you're not supposed to look at my email, uh, but at least part of um, the, uh, the assignments and stuff for week two, so you know how to do it. Um, this happens to be intro to band, but all my courses are still the same for right now, with rare exception. I think just the syllabus one, the last one down here. You have to go find your own syllabus. Where is it? I don't even see it. There it is. Yeah. For this one, <coughs> excuse me, you have to go find the correct syllabus to do. I'll show you that. Maybe. Come on. Yeah, here we go. So if you're an intro to band, you'd watch this video. And if you're in band six or seven, eight, you watch that one and so on. Here's choirs, all three choirs. Here's making music. So you have to go to the correct one. But other than that, um, all my all my stuff is still the same. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here. Now that says band eight. What's the deal there? I don't even know. <clears throat> Let me just go back. I've got a hat here to entertain you a little bit. What's it say? Captain Grandpa. I've got a grandson. He calls me Grampy and I've got a pontoon boat. So I wear this cap and we ride around on the pontoon and um, I got a little white paint on it painting the house this summer. Oops. Uh, the sun was in my eyes, so I just ran and got a cap, and I uh, got the wrong one. Uh, okay, so um, let me just show you. First of all, it says, says intro to band, and then there's this announcement um, that you should come to class live. Friday, I'm pretty sure you still, everybody still has to go to class. Go to class means, of course, either do some work for the class or come to the live class. And I'm doing live classes um, every day. Uh, that's the start of every period, with the possible exception on Friday in the morning, I have a meeting at 8, so I don't make advisory, and um, I'll probably still make it to period 1, because the meeting's over at 8.40, I think, so I think I still make it to period 1. But anyway, um, yeah, everybody's supposed to do class every day, even if it's an every other day class. Um, you, you don't have to do it on the days where it's not scheduled, but it wouldn't hurt to at least log in and take a look and see if I've put up anything new. Okay, so um, this is what your page looks like. I think all the courses look the same right now. Let me look at band eight here. Yeah, that looks the same. Yeah, okay, I'll go back to band six because that's where I was. Or was I? I can't even remember where I was. Was I making music? Maybe I was. I'm going to look at it um, from a... Uh, a student's point of view. I'll just pick a random student here. I don't know if that's where I was before or not. That's a nice picture there. Whoever that is, that's Uba. Okay, I'll get you out of the picture so you're, you don't feel <laughs> like this is a personal thing. Okay, so all you do is you can you can just scroll down here and scroll to each one of these, or you can click here and you'll get the same list. So you do it either way. So I'll go back and do it the easy way. So I'll just click on the task list. And here it is. So, um, yeah, come to a live class. Rhythm is so important. Oh, man, rhythm is huge. And if we have to do much distance learning, a lot of it will be rhythm because rhythm is easy to do over the Internet. Playing an instrument, uh, a little harder. Singing can be difficult just because you feel self-conscious who's listening. And it's hard to stay with the beat of the song sometimes and all that stuff. Um, but rhythm, rhythm can be fairly readily done, and rhythm is so huge to every musician. So we'll be doing a lot of rhythm. Uh, here's a discussion you can get in. This is my fight song. Uh, I feel like, wow, this, oh, this is a fight for me. So how are you doing? Uh, there's another introductory video, like kind of like, what are we going to be doing this year? A little easy quiz there. Uh, a lot of kids ask me, well, how come we can't do stuff by Jay-Z and Beyonce and, you know, uh, Bruno Mars? All well, there are a lot of reasons. Um, one of them is you already know that stuff. I don't have to teach you Bruno Mars. Um, but there are actually other reasons, and it's not just because they're inappropriate, because a lot of times they're not. Yeah, sometimes they are. But a lot of times they're not inappropriate, but there are other reasons that we can't do, at least not very much of them. So um, take a look at that. Uh, just for fun, uh, this is Land of a Thousand Dances. Go watch a couple of them. Uh, use, watch the Wilson Pickett one. And then if you want to see how to do all that, the, like the pony and all the stuff he's mentioning, you watch the other one. It's kind of funny. You can see how to do those dances. We'll just use a tiny, tiny bit of uh, Land of a Thousand Dances maybe in the future just for kind of a, a 
well, long story. But anyway, we'll just, it's fun, and we'll just use maybe a tiny bit of it. No, we won't be dancing. Standards and norms are kind of like my classroom. Here's how you get along. Here's what you do if you have to go to the bathroom, stuff like that. And then there are four um, non-negotiables at Northview that everybody needs to know. Uh, seventh and eighth graders, you probably already know them. But kids that are new to the school and sixth graders, you need to know these. So watch that and take the quiz. And then syllabus. A syllabus is kind of a list of what you'll be doing in a class for the year. And a lot of syllabuses, syllabi, the, they'll list, okay, this is the textbook. And in week one, we're doing chapter one, unit one. And then week two is unit two. And week three is unit three. And so on. They kind of go, or they say, okay, we're going to, it's math. So first, we're going to learn, you know, factoring what a polynomial is. And then we'll learn how to factor polynomials. And then we'll learn how to multiply polynomials, on and on. Um, I don't get nearly that specific. But it, it, it kind of tells you the same way this introductory video does, kind of what are we going to be doing basically this year. So you can just watch those, make sure you get the right one. I see I have a mistake here. Oops. All right, so that's kind of how you do the student task list. Let me go back a little bit. I think that's all I'll do now. I'll make another recording like about how you how you do each one of these if, if this works well for you. All right, see ya. How do I stop this thing? I can never stop it. There it is.